welcome to Knit Pug. <laughs> I'm Carrie, also known as Jada Dinner, and this is Gadget, currently known as Fuzzbutt, just because I feel like it. <laughs> That's what I've been calling them. Uh, it is Monday, 15th of February, 2016. And we are episode 14. Yes. Um, and again, it's a Monday. Yeah, it might just move to Mondays. Um, as you can see, stuff has moved around again because I've been uh, trashing up my living room and actually finding places for things. You know, I've only lived here for a month. Um, so, like I said, I'm Karen, also known as Jared Nair, and you can find me on uh, Ravelry, Instagram, and Twitter, all under Jaded Nair, and you can find us, so the podcast, on iTunes, and YouTube, and Ravelry under Knit Pug, and please come join our group on Ravelry. Apparently he's just going to um, chew on his toy tonight. Uh, as you can hear, there isn't any ticking in the background. That's because I, I turned off the furnace tonight. Um, yeah, I have a large furnace in my living room, so it's, it's great because it's cold outside and it's warm in here. Um, actually, I currently have the door open so I can actually wear a sweater because I wander around here in shorts and tank tops. <laughs> My furnace might be a little more powerful than my apartment calls for, and I don't care. I don't care at all. It's warm. It's cold. Yeah. Um, so yeah, on to the knitting stuff. First things first. Bows! These are done. I'm only going to show you one. Because the other one, um, I haven't actually kitchenered it. I'm calling it done, but I haven't kitchenered it. Simply because I have this sinking feeling that these are not long enough for my feet. So I'm not kitchenering it until I've actually tried this one on, and I haven't done that yet, because I didn't want to stretch it before I showed it on the podcast, because then it would just look, it'll look weird when I do that. But it fits my sock form, so maybe it's fine. I don't know. Like I said, I'll try. Um, so it will, once the other one's kitchener, these will go in the basket of socks that need to have ends woven in so I can wear them. Because I have far too many of those. Um, this is Regia uh, Perfect, is the wool. And knit up really well. I did these on size zero, so two millimeter. Uh, I did the cuffs on 2.25, so a, a US one is my standard and then I realized that I was doing a straight knit on 72 stitches I yeah 72 stitches is too big for my feet I normally do um, about 70 I do a, a 68 to 70 I forget what it is um, but yeah 68 is how many I do I normally do but I did a 72 for this one so it's top down with a heel flap that you can't, it is eye of partridge, you can't tell the wool's too dark, but that's okay. I like it. Um, like the wool, it was a good, um, I like to call it a good tight knit. The yarn itself was a good tight um, twist, so it wasn't splitty. Worked well with the zeros, which is always an added bonus. Uh, so that's the faux. The partially finished is this, uh, which is the sweater for my neighbor, my wonderful, wonderful neighbor Rose. Um, it is actually on hold for the moment, uh, simply because I need to go and talk to Rose and double check the measurements because I think I got something wrong because this does not look like it's going to be big enough. It might be. It might not be. It's also, there's something, it, it's not turning out the way I want it to, so I might end up ripping it out anyway. 
We'll see. But currently, this is where I've gotten to. And I'll keep going. Um, I, for the first time in forever, don't actually have a pair of socks on the needles. I have been working on... Come here, you. That's what happens when you move things around. Um, I've been working on ink. This is the ink cardigan. Uh, and it is by Hannah Makayowski, Makayowska, sorry, um, off of Ravelry. It is a paid pattern, but it is wonderfully, wonderfully done. Um, and I especially love the way that the collar starts, because you actually start with the collar here. Um, and she's got it set up so that you do this and then you work out from this diamond in the back and it worked really well. I love the way it's set up. I love the way it's turning out. Um, I am still something like almost 30 rows from the divide for the arms. So it's going to take me a while. That's okay. I haven't really been working on it as much as I should have been because I started this little May of last year. Um, yeah, this is what I'm currently working on. Uh, and I am doing that out of Valley Yarns Claremont, uh, which is Merino Silk Polymaid. So it's 60-20 uh, Merino Silk, and the, the other 20 is uh, Polymaid, which is essentially nylon, um, which is great. It's, it's oh so soft. Um, I bought this. This is Webb's, Valley Yarns is Webb's brand. Um, and I bought this back when the dollar was still pretty much at par, or a little bit under par. Um, I don't buy yarn from the States at the moment, because I'm not paying 70 cents on the dollar. Yeah, the Canadian dollar. It is going back up. So once it goes back up, I will start buying US yarns again. But until then, no. Oh, I have my Canadian suppliers. I'm good with that. But this is what uh, I'm making ink out of. Uh, so that and that and um, yeah, that's really it as far as the knitting end of things goes. Um, one thing I will show you is because I don't, I probably showed these off last year at some point, but I did get um, a set of the Violet. Um, Northern Lights needles from my favorite my favorite crack supplier, um, my favorite needle supplier, Diacraft. Um, they currently have a darker purple, uh, an orange, and the standard, the silver Northern Lights right now. I'm waiting for them to come out with green ones. Because if they come out with green ones, I will end up with three complete sets of diecraft needles, because this is my second set. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might have a needle problem. Maybe. And if I said that to anyone but a bunch of knitters, that would be really, really bad. Uh, yeah. So other than that, uh, in other news, I finally got to the guild meeting for uh, the Kitchener Waterloo Knitters Guild, and it was fabulous. Um, they had a wonderful presentation uh, going on. So, on uh, it was by a woman who does um, essentially art installations out of knitting. Uh, she does yarn bombing, but she does it with the permission of the city and whatnot. Um, so it classifies as art. Uh, and that was actually, it was really neat. And it's something I, I'd recommend anyone is check out your local knitting guilds or your local guilds, period. Because um, they do tend to have a lot of really interesting activities. Uh, and... Nah, train of thought. My... Um, so what else? I've also been watching podcasts again. Pick them up again. 
Uh, one of the ones I saw recently is by one of our own members, um, Lori, who is in Tuinets. In where'd it go? I N T U I K N I T. Um, and she has, she just started two weeks ago. So, I have watched episode one and two thumbs up. Um, the other one who is starting podcast, she finally put out her first episode, because I've been poking her for a while, is our very own Janet, um, who is the Fiberholic, and her podcast is under, hello sir, um, Crazy Dog Yarns on YouTube. So yeah, go check both of those out. Um, see both. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful ladies, wonderful podcasts. Nice knitting. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's about it. I was in Toronto this weekend, just I went and I got my hair done. I got his hair, well, done as much as you can. I went to Ikea, because Ikea. And yeah, it, it was cold. It was very cold. I'm sitting in a restaurant watching the news and they're talking about it being one of the coldest days of the year in Toronto. Um, and then they're giving the weather forecast for the rest of the province. And Ottawa uh, was minus 40 with the wind chill. I love you guys, but I'm suddenly very glad I'm not there. <laughs> I also realized that I really do hate traffic, so the rush hour here, which, you know, is all of like, the only reason we have a rush hour is because that's when the transports come through and they take a little longer to get through the traffic light, singular. So rush hour lasts like 10 minutes. I'm liking this. Um, I love small town living. That's really it. Um, like I said earlier, or last episode, um, I will be in uh, Toronto for Knitter's Frolic. I'll be there both Saturday and Sunday. So stop by and say hello. I am actually going to attempt to get buttons uh, before I go, which I should have time to do because there's, you know, a month and two and a half months. Um, so I'm going to attempt to get buttons, so come see me. You might get buttons. Um, and then I will be at Twist in St. André d'Avelin. I remembered it this week. And that's in August. And I'll be at um, Kitchener and Waterloo Knitter's Fair in September. Um, so yeah, come say hi. I have no idea where else I'm going this year. But if anyone else knows of any interesting yarn festivals within you know, a couple of hours drive of, of uh, Toronto, Canada, let me know. Because um, <laughs> I want to go. I want to go see people. And yeah. That's about it. That's really it. Hopefully by next week I will be in the new corner. No, I won't. Let's be realistic here. That's not going to happen. So I actually have a, a corner full of currently f piled, literally, with knitting and sewing stuff. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Happy knitting, happy spinning. Anyone who had a long weekend this weekend, I hope you all enjoyed it. If I didn't, I had to work today because I'm a bed. We, but that's okay. Um, we will see everyone later and let me know what all you're knitting. I am still trying to come up with a few, hello sir, um, a few things to do as far as knit along the one that goes for the spring. So if you have any ideas, post in the group, PM me, whatever. Um, I'm always open to ideas, so let me know. Um, or if there's anything you'd like me, like I said when I started this, if there's something you'd like to see me knit, let me know because 
it's not like I won't do it. <laughs> As most of you probably know, I'm perfectly willing to try anything. So yeah, let me know, and I will see you guys all next week. Bye!